Hello, hello everyone. Okay, I wanna show you today a new template <clears throat> based around that really awesome show, The Brady Bunch. So this would be kind of fun. Something different, something that we can do that's sort of box-like, but um, sort of outside the box. Um, this is a this is a really fun one to offer to your clients or for your own family. Uh, one of the best things is that all you really do need to do is have photographs, have, have your uh, people photographed maybe against a seamless or something with a lot of contrast. Now, uh, because I just made this template and I didn't have time to photograph anybody, I literally went in and got free stock photography. So you could see that this is actually really cute and the lighting doesn't match. The lighting, you know, definitely doesn't match any of these people, but that's okay because this is just for fun. So you can, you could end up having clients tell them to stand against the wall, take a screen, take a photo, take a photograph of themselves using their cell phone and send them to you. And then the lighting might not be, you know, as perfect as you want it to be, but the overall effect is still a lot of fun. And you could do even more fun things than I did here. I was looking for stock photos. Um, you could have everybody like looking at each other, looking up, looking down. You could even be fancy and have them pass things to each other just the way we do in box photography. So I want to unpackage this, show you how simple and easy it is to add people into the template and you can do it in two different ways. So when you open this up, you will see now, of course, you're not going to see these people here. I just have them here for um, demonstration. I'm just going to shut them off for a minute. What you will see is a menorah. You can shut it on and off. A Santa hat, shut it on and off. You will see lights. I have two sets of lights. I have brighter lights and I have darker lights. So actually you just have a choice on which lights you want to use. Um, and uh, you have text. Now in the instructions that you were given, you were given a link to go download the free uh, font that I used. You need to download that before you open up this template so that it's in your Photoshop already. Uh, it is a free font for now. I did not purchase it. I got it online. Follow the rules online. Um, I cannot guarantee that everything will always be free all the time. So um, I'm not selling you the font. I'm just providing the link to what I used. You could also possibly Google Brady Bunch font and find a different one to replace it with. Um, so you have your text, everything will remain editable. Uh, the, I broke it out into three different words, the, and then I wrote the Ginsburg. Of course, you could change that to any name that you want to name it to. Um, uh, uh, Malarkey family, you know, whoops, I don't want to change it there. That was silly. Um, I mean, I'd want to change it here. <laughs> so I would go to my text. And then I would just, M-A-R-L-K-E-Y, the Malarkey family. Um, you know, I would change it there or not. So uh, whichever works for you. So you also have, um, you know, you could shut anything off. You can also move any of this text around, make it larger, make it smaller. Very customizable. Um, now I also added in so that this is a customizable template that you can use for families that celebrate just Christmas, celebrate just Hanukkah, or maybe their blended families and celebrate both holidays. So I thought that was kind of a fun and different twist. So you can, um, let's say it's just a Jewish family and you want to celebrate just Hanukkah. You've, I've given you a menorah and I'm going to shut off the lights. I'm going to shut off the Christmas hat, the Santa hat. And I also gave you, and I, and I placed it in a layer behind the text on purpose, these cute little stars. So uh, you could have Jewish stars, you could even turn off the menorah and just have the stars. This is really completely up to you. Um, and what I also provided for you was optional clipping masks. The clipping masks are here, okay? Oops, the clipping masks, actually the clipping masks, you could turn them off. And the clipping masks have already placed the middle the middle square, I gave it a color overlay of black. You can shut off the effect and make it blue if you want to. You can also, you know, put a person in this middle square if you want to. Um, but I wanted to show you that. Or you can um, shut off your clipping masks. Clipping masks, I think, are the easiest way to do this. You can also shut them off because I also gave you a grid layer if you wanted to just slide people behind the grid. 
and then a background color. Okay, so it's really simple. You have an option to use the clipping masks or not. I prefer to use the clipping mask for something like this. It will just make life a lot easier. Um, so I'm going to turn my clipping masks back on. I'm going to turn on the basics. Turn off the blue Jewish stars. This is, you know, my basic. And I'm going to go into my clipping masks and I'm going to show you how I would add a person. So I'm going to go into, let's say, use the move tool, press the letter V remove or it's right up here. I'm gonna go, so I, now I want to place somebody into this one right here. I'm going to go to file, place embedded, and I'm going to pick um, a picture. These are all the stock photos that I used for this. It's really simple. Okay, I'm just going to show you that this one is just a dog. Okay, he's not on a seamless background and yet there's enough contrast to make this simple and easy. Okay, and what I'm going to do is place him. Now notice in the layers panel, he is above the number one, which is the first one. If you needed to move him, let's say I decided I wanted to move him to this square instead, I could just take him and move him down here because I'm gonna clip him onto the uh, square. And I also, let's say if I'm moving him to the eight, oh, he disappears because, uh, whoops. I'm going to go back to my, um, my guy, my dog. There he is. Command T, because he's hiding now behind the clipping mask. I'm going to move him to the clipping mask that I want to clip him to. All right. And here's what's the simple part, okay? I am on my dog layer. I'm going to go here to quick selection tool. Look check to make sure that this says sample all layers is not checked. I only want to sample this layer. Press select subject. It does a very, very nice job of selecting the dog for me. You can go in and modify the selection. Um, I have other tutorials that show you how to do that, but for now I really think it looks good. And I'm just going to click on the layer mask and I have masked my dog. I'm going to press command T. That's my free transformation tool. And I'm just going to maybe make them a little bit bigger, place them in the center, press OK. And now I'm going to right click down on it. I don't even really need to do it, but I'm going to right click down on it and I'm just going to create clipping mask. And nothing really changed because he wasn't sticking out of the boundaries of this template. But let's just say that um, he was. Let's, I'm going to unrelease him for a second. I'm going to press Command T. I'm going to make him really big. You're not going to really want to do this, but let's say you wanted to do this. Now you see how he's sticking out between the boundaries. You may want that. That's okay. You know, that's that's fine too, right? That That's kind of fun actually. Um, I'm going to just clear my guide so you could see. So you could take him out of the boundaries. That's really fine um, if that's something you want to do. It's a good way to pass things from one thing from one template, one square to another, one rectangle to another. But if I don't want him to be outside the boundaries of my rectangle, I go to create clipping mask, and then I've clipped him in to the clipping mask, and that's how it would work. And that's really what you would do. You would just use the clipping masks. Um, so you can do that. You can use your clipping masks, or you don't have to. You could also take this dog. You could shut all your clipping masks off. The layer that says clip mask, shut it off. Okay, you still have that blue background. You have the black layer here. And what you can do is I now placed the dog. See, he's in front of there. He's on top of the layer mask right now, um, on top of the, the grid. I'm going to put him below the grid. And now what I would also need to do is take um, my, I already have a layer mask on him. I have to use my brush, my B tool. And I just have to kind of brush him out now. And you know what? It's not that hard, but then you end up like messing up the edges and you know, it's just easier to use a clipping mask. That's the way I feel about it. Clipping masks are the way to go, but that is another option for you. And I wanted to show you. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you enjoy the template and notice also that the, um, if you decide to just use this, you do not have a black square. You would just have to turn that black. If you want to use a black square, you'd have to turn it back on inside the clipping masks. All right. Um, these are your options.
You have lots of them. I hope you enjoy the template. I can't wait to see what you make. Um, but don't forget, the easiest way is if you are photographing your clients or your family, place them against something, you know, a seamless background or just a wall, easy to cut them out, and it'll be a breeze to make this template work. All right, have a great day, and thanks for watching.